This short video is intended to give you information on the changes to the mini carousel involving Station 1, Station 3 and Station 5. It's worth emphasising at this point, however, that the content, the format and the marking scheme for each individual encounter remains unchanged and so candidate preparation should be as per normal. We will continue to use real patients and continue to assess all seven skills across the individual encounters. As per usual, there will be two examiners in each encounter and they will also be wearing appropriate PPE. And they will mark independently with one examiner taking the lead at each individual encounter. Prior to each encounter, you will be provided with PPE consisting of gloves, a plastic apron and a fluid resistant surgical mask. Many candidates will choose to sit the exam in their own clothing, but some candidates may wish to wear surgical scrubs and this will be acceptable. We cannot guarantee, however, that each of our individual exam centres will have dedicated changing facilities and you may wish to bear this in mind prior to attending the exam. The individual encounters will have the same timings as before, but between encounters, additional time will be built into the mini carousel to allow for the doffing and donning of PPE, to perform hand hygiene and to clean equipment such as stethoscopes. Station one will remain a station which involves the examination of a patient with an abdominal complaint and a patient with a respiratory complaint and you may undertake these encounters in either order. As per previously, each encounter will last 10 minutes with six minutes examination time, followed by a four minute question and answer interaction with the examiners. An advisory warning will be given when you have one minute of examination time remaining. Station three will follow in identical fashion to station one other than you will encounter a patient with a cardiovascular complaint and a patient with a neurological complaint. Again, the encounters will last for 10 minutes with six minutes examination time and a four minute question and answer interaction with the examiners. Between the encounters, there will be time to allow for the doffing and donning of PPE and performing appropriate hygiene measures. Station five, will continue to comprise of two brief clinical consultations, each lasting 10 minutes. You will be given reading time in advance of entering the station, and you will be able to take notes beforehand and take them into the individual encounter with you. You will have eight minutes to take a structured history and undertake a focused examination of your patient, followed by a two minute interaction with the examiners. An advisory warning will be given when you have two minutes remaining with your patient. After completion of BCC1, you'll be given the opportunity to change your PPE and perform appropriate hygiene measures before the next BCC lasting 10 minutes commences. I hope you've found this video instructive, reassuring and informative. And on behalf of MRCP UK, I wish you every success in your upcoming examination.